Electricity is everywhere. We grow up in the era of electronics and internet. Kids playing on their iPhones and iPods. Adults working on their laptops, talking on their Bluetooth. We use it for school, for work, and definitely for recreation. Electricity has become such a large part of our lives, but do we understand how it works? Probably not. The concept of this product is based on the analogy between water and electricity. Electrons flow like water in many aspects. This product will reveal the connections between the circuit system and the flow system. It will help people visualize electric concepts from simple to complex systems. First, what's the main difference between the two systems? Visibility. Since electricity is an abstract subject, it can be hard to grasp for the majority of students first entering the field. This fluid demonstration of an electrical circuit will be able to show students the movement of an electric current, the function of the resistors in the battery, and other main concepts of the circuit. The liquid will be a colored water containing a small floating object in it, and the rest of the system will be transparent so students can clearly see how the fluid flows, is transferred, and created. The system has seven basic components to it. First, we have the battery or the direct current source. This will be seen as a small pump which will maintain a fixed liquid pressure level throughout the system. The switch will just be a water switch. Next, the resistor will be a water hose but with stoppers inside. This will be a transparent tube and we can use the color liquid so that students can clearly see the way the water is flowing in the resistor. This is the voltage meter, so that when the switch is on and the water enters the system, you can see the water level rise. The water tank here serves as the battery for the system. And this is the water pump, which will move the water from low to high places like this. Here, if we turn on the water switch, water will enter the system and the water that rises in the voltage meter will indicate the voltage dividers right here, showing water potential that has been lowered in the water tank. What the capacitor does is it stores potential energy, or in this case, elastic energy. We have a balloon wrapped around the water bottle, and when the system is closed, the balloon should expand showing elastic energy. When it is closed and the water switch is off, the balloon will deflate again. This demonstration system will significantly help students understand the principles of electric currents. With further development, the system should be able to develop principles for more complex systems, such as an alternative current or even analog and digital circuits.